to the dress up mom. Hello. Today I am going to the La Jolla Playhouse to see a new play called The Year to Come. And I thought what I would do is tell you a little bit about it before, show you what I'm wearing, and then tell you what I think about it afterwards. But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are one of my regular viewers and subscribers, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, like what you're seeing, please subscribe. It's the button. It's here. It means the world to me. We are also on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the dress up mom, hashtag the dress up mom. You can check us out there too. I feel so fortunate that I live in La Jolla, California, which is an unbelievably beautiful place in and of itself. But one of the other things I love about living here is that the La Jolla Playhouse is in my backyard. It's right on the UCSD campus. And I love theater in general. And it is so fun to have this little playhouse here where we get to see a lot of things before they go and make it big on Broadway or other places. So we get a lot of debuts here. We're almost like the little guinea pig for it. And a lot of great productions have started at the La Jolla Playhouse and then moved on to get Tonys and other things. So it's really a fun thing. We have season tickets now. Not all of the productions are gems, but I love theater, so it's, I usually learn something and enjoy something about everyone. But I'm excited about the one we're going to see today, which is called The Year to Come. And apparently the playwright is acclaimed. She's younger. She might even have a San Diego background. She's had some hits, and this is her newest production. So it's premiering here. And I like to purposely not know a ton about it before I go because I like to make up my own mind. But this one has gotten some critical acclaim. And I think the storyline is that it's a family that gets together every New Year's and it's a look at all their New Year's like starting from now and then going back so that you can see sort of how everybody ended up here. And it is right before New Year's right now. It is the holiday season of 2018 that I'm seeing this. So it's timely. Now, the other thing I heard about is there's an actual swimming pool on the stage. So I don't really know how they're going to pull that off. Seems kind of interesting, a swimming pool right on the stage. There were also some really acclaimed actors in this. The woman, I believe, was from, I don't know, maybe Malcolm in the Middle, or she's from a TV show. There's somebody that is on Grey's Anatomy, which is a show that I watch. So the acting should be great. Hopefully the storyline is good. I will show you what I'm wearing, and then we'll head out to the theater, and I'll come back and tell you what I think about the year to come. So when I go to the theater, I do like to get a little bit dressed up, even though we're going to the matinee. And like I said, it's around the holidays. So this is the top of a Oscar de la Renta two-piece gold suit that I picked up resale at Flashbacks here in San Diego. And I really love wearing it this time of year. This whole outfit is either resale or gifted to me. The gifted part is this beautiful gold chain necklace that was my mom's. It was from her collection and she gave it to me many Christmases ago and I cherish it. I've worn it for a long time. Underneath I just have this little Burberry kind of shell that I got at my sister's closet that is cashmere and really feels great this time of year. These slacks are from the hospice resale in Encinitas that I altered and changed up a bit but I do like the winter white color especially here in San Diego. And then the shoes are resale from eBay. They are Kurt Geiger, my little leopards, that I think are a neutral and go with this outfit. So we're going to head out to the theater and I'll tell you about it when I get there. There are three theaters that encompass the La Jolla Playhouse at UCSD. This one was in the largest one and there's usually something fun and different that they incorporate into each. Here they have the chairs as if you're on somebody's backyard. This play took place kind of in somebody's backyard the whole time. And they had a bunch of these screens in the lobby that had pictures of people and their celebrations for New Year's, usually family celebrations, and you could kind of get a sense of New Year's and get a feeling for that. They even had a photo booth situation where you could take a picture there yourself. Doug and I did it, and they printed it out and gave it to you right there. That was kind of fun and a nice memorabilia. Here is the stage. You can't really see it here. You can in another view, but there really is a swimming pool on there. And that swimming pool was used. It had water in it. People in the front row did get wet a couple times 
everybody in the play ended up getting in the water, except I think the grandpa character. And at intermission, they had to come in and really do some cleanup. Between the gay son, daughter, aging parents, people my age, family dynamics, a lot I could relate to in this play. All right, so I'm gonna just talk here because the emotion I want you to see, it was emotional. <laughs> this is me leaving the play. Okay, I'm gonna try again. The play is very intense. It's incredibly well written and it's well acted. And there are a lot of things that resonated uh, to me, for me in it. The premise of going back and looking like, you know, 20 years, I think it, it spanned 20 years to sort of see what had happened to shape this family was interesting. There was also a lot of politics in it. And uh, I, I did read later that the author was inspired to write this when Donald Trump became president. And there's a little bit of that in it and it kind of goes through and talks about what, you know, Americans have been through over the last 20 years. There's a lot of just, hmm, I don't know, what am I missing, Doug? Uh, it's intense. Hopes and dreams and how fast life goes by. Yeah. Hopes, dreams, life, um, and family, so. But especially ah. for anyone you've missed, anyone, anyone that's died before, anyone that you think of that have gone before you. Right, the people that, yeah, the people that you miss, um, there were interesting parts about, you know, a gay son, which we have. That part was kind of interesting. I don't know. There were parts of it that really resonated. Anyhow, so intense, an incredible drama. Uh, don't go if you're thinking you're going to just have a fun, just a uh, smiley time. But I do think this is one that uh, makes you think, makes you think. And then I'll think about for a while. And sorry, ah, but I think this is what art is supposed to do too. Anyhow, I would love to know if you saw this, what kind of reaction you had to it. And I'm not sure what'll happen if it'll get picked up and go somewhere else. So thanks for watching. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.